Hello, welcome once again to my special, uh, Johnny D Meets the Stars, and today we've got a very big time star here with us. Uh, he was on one of the most popular shows of the 1950s, and as a matter of fact, one of the most popular shows of the 1960s. The show in the 50s, I Love Lucy, and the show in the 60s was uh, the Andy Griffith Show. And the gentleman we have as our special guest today is Keith Thibodeau, and Keith down in Jackson. Hello Keith, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, John. Nice to be with you. Good to be here. Good to have you here. Uh, and uh, yeah. indeed, uh, we're, we're, this is just, uh, wow, you know, I mean, to be on one show, obviously, the, in the 50s and then in the 60s, there's, uh, that's a big time accomplishment for early television and everything. And uh, again, uh, you are now in Jackson, Mississippi, and uh, you're working with Ballet Magnificat, right? And uh, what's yes, your role with them? Yeah, my role with them, uh, I'm executive director for the company, and we are, uh, we've been in existence since 1986. My wife and I, Kathy. All right. Um, started it back then and uh it's grown and and just it's it's uh it's a christian ballet company that tours all over the u.s as well as the world we've been over uh 45 countries and um we started another company and another school in curitiba brazil so we've got two companies and two schools um, in two different uh, continents, cool. so that's kind of cool. cool. Oh, very cool, very cool. And uh, and again, since 1986, I mean, and uh, it now um, you're you've already you were born in Louisiana, so this is basically home for you, basically down here in Mississippi. I mean, just a hop, skip, and jump east of Louisiana. Yeah, I'm a southern boy. You know, I, I was even in Hollywood. I was I was identified with with my southern roots more, and uh, and then finally I, I uh, moved back to Louisiana after. Uh, I was about 15 years old and cool. uh, ended up there. Cool. Say, so, okay, so now we'll talk about the uh, old TV shows uh, like uh, such as I Love Lucy. Now, what are some of your big memories of I Love Lucy? Uh, it was an amazing show, lots of energy, lots of, uh, it was a very professional set. And, um, you know, just being able to, uh, to to act with Lucy and Desi and, and William and uh, uh, Viv, Vivian Vance, um, in that format, it was just an amazing opportunity, um, as well as being able to act uh, and play the drums and and do musical uh, acts. That was that was a trip. That was pretty cool too. Yeah, drums. I, I see that you and uh, Desi Arnaz uh, had a pretty good relationship because him uh, being a drummer, basically. I mean, and I think it's now is his son Desi Jr. also a drummer, and you're a drummer too, right? Yeah, he he uh, he 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 drummed and he drums. Um, I started first. I was when I was I was like two years old. I started, and then when I got on the show, I I, um, I basically played played the drums. And Desi wanted to, uh, you know, sort of emulate what I did, and so he took drum lessons and learned to play. Mm -hmm. And uh, he became a drummer as well with Dino, Desi, and Billy, the the rock band. You know, you remember that? Sure, sure. And I and uh, speaking of bands, you are part of the uh, the team, uh, the music uh, group, uh, David and the Giants, correct? That's right. Uh, I, I joined David and the Giants in 1969, and uh, here in Mississippi, in Laurel, Mississippi. And I was born uh, born in Louisiana, but moved to Mississippi when I was 19. Um, and then uh, I've been in Mississippi since, um, and married Kathy. We've been married 46 years, so I'm a Mississippian. And uh, you started off, and the band originally started off as a, as a rock and roll band that changed over to Christian rock, correct? Yeah, that's right. We were signed with Capitol and United Artists and had some regional hits across the nation and uh, got real pretty well known in the in the UK, uh, in the northern soul uh, music genre. Um, it was like a disco thing. But uh, but then we we I came I, I became a Christian in 1974 and I began telling them about my experience and about my faith in Jesus. Uh, I was raised a Roman Catholic, but I, I was born again in 1974 in a little uh, charismatic meeting in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Went back to the band and told them, "Let's let's play uh, let's play more godly music and uh, and you know keep the same kind of style as rock, but just change the lyrics to more godly lyrics." And they said, "Well, we'll give you about two weeks, and uh, you'll you'll get over this." And, but I never uh, did. And cool, cool. Yeah. So, 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 and to this day, you're still. I mean, and, uh, any uh, possibilities of? I uh, you know that I think you've had some tours in the last several years, but uh, any tours coming up by any chance? Yeah. Well, we. Uh, you mean with the band or? Band. Yeah. 
Yeah, we we we've been playing pretty much this this year. We played in Cincinnati a couple okay. times, Texas, and different places. But uh, we uh, we are going to play at the uh, actually. It's kind of curious. The Mayberry Days. Oh. Uh, we just got booked for that next year, which is a tie-in to the Andy Griffith Show, and we'll be playing for the Mayberry Days Festival in Mount Airy, North Carolina. Uh, for 2023. All right, hey, that's cool. And, and so, speaking of Mayberry Days, uh, you played uh, Johnny Paul on there, Johnny Paul Jason, and uh, that was uh, uh, more than just you know several appearances. Like Ernest T only appeared for like five episodes. You were in what at least a dozen or a little more than a dozen episodes, correct? With on the uh, Andy Griffith Show. Yeah, I, I was just kind of you know a little pal of Opie's, and and uh, I was on 13 episodes, okay. and it was a, it was a really great treat to be on the show and. Great treat to be uh, part of that uh, that legacy as well as the Isle of Lucy show. Oh, sure, sure. And uh, you know, got to know Ron Howard, one of the nicest guys in Hollywood, as a as a child star. Um, you know, he was just a friendly dude, and and he was a little younger than me, so I didn't really hang out uh -huh. with him after the, you know, after the show was over, or you know, kept in touch with him. But uh, he was a great guy, and we had the same teacher. Catherine Barton, who taught us both on the Alan Lucy oh, show really? and the Andy, the Andy Griffith show. Cool, cool. So, so uh, the, uh, just ask about the, uh, some of the names on that you've crossed paths with, and what your, imp I mean, impressions and memories are. Like, for example, now that we're still on the Andy Griffith show, uh, Andy Griffith, do you, um, did you spend any time talking with Andy and uh, and left? Did he leave any impressions? Uh, you know, Andy was just a just a laid back. That you know that whole show that ep that whole. Andy Griffith show was, they played themselves mostly. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were just down home Southern boys. Um, and just, you know, the director would yell cut and they would just kind of like morph into this, just, you know, laid back kind of thing um, mm -hmm. on the set. And it was just, it was just, a, it was just a cool thing because I was a Southern boy and I was kind of getting back to my roots doing that show, mm -hmm. and um, and playing Johnny Paul Jason on that show. So, Andy was a really nice guy. Barney, uh, Don Knotts was amazing, um, funny guy. We laughed, you know. We we, we cut up uh, with him, and and um, just we just all got along with very well on that set. Cool, cool. I mean, that's you know, I mean, again, being on the show in the in 1950s, I Love Lucy, and in 1960s uh, on the Andy Griffith show. Well, now going back to I Love Lucy, just uh, again, your impressions on uh, and the memories that you have, special memories of, Lucy, like for example, Lucille Ball. Well, of course, there's nobody like Lucy, and uh, <laughs> she's uh, she was an amazing lady. And uh, the first time I ever met her, you know, I went to the set to, to audition for the show, and uh, and she. Uh, there she was on the set, and I, I didn't quite know who she was, but I knew she was somebody very, mm -hmm. very important, you know. And uh, but she was an amazing lady, very passionate, and uh, took care of me and, and mothered me and told the the, ca the cast and the crew members not to uh, to curse or cuss around, you know, me and just sort of protective about around me. So yeah, and you had also Desi Arnaz, her husband at the time. Uh, you also had uh, again uh, uh, some special memories of uh, Desi. I'm sure uh, you mentioned about the drum playing and him. I guess with the, the bongos wasn't that that was right. The bongos right that Desi played. Uh, That's right. Yeah, and then uh, I remember uh, you know many. I think there was one episode. I can't. Uh, Maurice Chevalier. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to remember his Chevalier? name. Chevalier. Yeah, Chevalier. Yeah, yeah you yeah. all did a little bit of a. I guess that was one of your opportunities to play on there with Desi too on on television. That. Yeah, that was a great episode. I enjoyed that. You know, I was able to play the drums and, and also, you know, do uh, song and dance and uh, be with the uh, iconic Maurice Chevalier from, from France, the, the, the great French actor, mm -hmm. and, uh, and Desi, of course. It was just a fun episode. How about Vivian Vance? Any good memories from Vivian Vance? Yeah, I remember Vivian just, uh, you know, sitting in the... Uh, sitting in Lucy's dressing room and they were just, you know, getting their hair done or something. And they were just talking, chatting back and forth, chit chat, like they were in a, 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 a lady's salon or uh -huh. something. It was just, just that kind of a work, very good work environment, you know, very professional. 
And then there's also William Frawley who played Fred on the old I Love Lucy. I, was he, um, I know that they, many uh, say that you know, he was between and the character he played as Bub on, on um, My Three Sons and also William Frawley uh, when he played uh, Fred on I Love Lucy. So which, which was more like Fred? Was it when you saw him on, as Fred on I Love Lucy or was it a little more like Bub, which was a little more... Uh, I would say it looked like it was Freddie. It was a little bit of a gruff on the gruff side at some times. But uh, was he a pretty good, pretty cool character? He was a very cool character. He's a very laid back guy, uh -huh. and uh, to me anyway, you know, he would just come up. Uh, we'd be getting donuts at the uh, the coffee area, and uh, in the morning he would say, "How's the world treating you today, uh -huh. Keith?" You know, just. Okay. just Nice that's, guy. That's cool. That's cool. And uh, any other memories of any other uh, guest stars that uh, were on the show? I know that during the uh, like 1959-60, or I think it was uh, somewhere in that time period, you had like Fred McMurray and others. Any other memories of any other guests on the show that came by and were pretty cool? Yeah, Danny Thomas. Danny Thomas. And, uh, you know, we had... Uh, George Reeves, Superman. Oh yes, yes, I, and that episode. I mean, and that that's my. We might go on that uh, tangent there. I I do. Uh, I've read about uh, you were pretty much a big fan of uh, George Reeves, Superman, and he got to be on the show, and you got a chance to meet him, right? Oh yeah, I mean, he was my idol. Um, I believed he was super even on the show, <laughs> even though I knew he wasn't. I, you know, my little kid, imaginative mind, imaginative mind, I thought he was, and um, he was a really nice man, very very kind to kids and. And I could tell that he genuinely liked, you know, me and liked kids in general, you know. So that was kind of cool. That was very cool. So again, uh, I mean, you were in the 1950s in Hollywood. Now the transition away from Hollywood was that um, something that you were okay with? I know that you kind of a, a general transition. You go from Hollywood to a rock group to a Christian rock group. So that whole transition. I know a lot of times child actors or actresses have troubles. Uh, was yours a pretty cool cool transition, pretty smooth transition into back to what's most closer to normal life? Well, not not at all, really, uh, John. It was more of a, a hard fall for me. And I, I just, uh, you know, my parents had divorced when I was 15. You know, my mom was a single mom. And we moved to back to Louisiana and stayed with my aunts and uncles. And, uh, and then from that point on, I began to play drums and rock and roll bands and began mm -hmm. to do drugs and eventually ended up meeting David and the Giants in Biloxi, Mississippi. And uh, it was there that uh, first, you know, began to really want to play drums. And then uh, as the drugs got deeper and deeper and I got into that whole thing, uh, I got clinically depressed and, and uh, mm -hmm. joined David and the Giants and, and basically went on to do that. And um, it just got worse and worse in my life until I just got to the end of my rope and I was suicidal. Mm. And I would have been ended up like some of the kid stars that you hear about, but sure. Um, sure. God had mercy on me and, and uh, he, I became a believer and, and he, he, he took me out of that pit that I was in. That is neat because you were yeah, brought back and looks like now you're doing great. I mean, you're with Ballet Magnificat, you are with a Christian rock uh, band and, uh, and life is, I guess God had more plans for you and still has plans for you in the near future. And, um, and you're still, uh, do you have any plans ever to go back to Hollywood for any kind of, uh, obviously there's are going to be still maybe some reunion times and I know that you're still good friends or, or were good friends with uh, Lucy and uh, Desi Jr., correct? Well, yeah, uh, I talk to them occasionally, and, and uh, I tell people that when I talk with Desi, you know, we don't talk very often, but mm -hmm. when, we, when we do talk, we, you know, we talk for several hours at a time, so it's like one of those kind of things. And I'm sure there will be some more reunions of uh, the Lucy show, and I, I'm, I'm down, to, down the line as we go toward, I guess now we're at uh, 70, the 75th anniversary would be most likely 2026. So, and uh, it's things like that, so who knows, maybe that will be uh, what's around the corner for you. So. Anything else around the corner for you, or just basically just right now you're just uh, down in Jackson, Mississippi, and enjoying life? I mean, we're we're amazing. Uh, this is an amazing ministry we're with, mm -hmm. Ballet Magnificat, and it keeps Kathy and I busy. And we uh, we like to visit our daughter who lives in Phoenix, okay. and uh, our grandson who's eight years old. Cool. We yeah. love we love seeing them, so we go we go there often and uh, as much as we can. Sure. Well, pl pleasure to have you on my show. Thank you. This is well. This is my third attempt at doing a show, so you know. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know. Uh, indeed, uh, your future, uh, uh, your future, Keith, uh, is going to be a big time future still. And again, and uh, got a lot of luck to you, and God bless you. Take it easy, okay? Uh, thank you, John.